Hello everyone, my name is Peregrine. You know that guy who always says he's seen it when you show him a meme? That's me. I've recently updated my PhD in memes. I, Dr. Peregrine, would like to show you an alternate reality. A portal back in time where memes were simpler. A place called Imflip. IMG Flip. Imflip. Im... Imflip. Neither sounds right, but I'm gonna go with Imflip. I can't say it either. For those who don't know, there's many kinds of memes. Something that will probably need its own video to explain, but one of these categories includes ironic memes. With most of my experience being inside a community of shit posters, which the definition is posting large amounts of content of aggressively, ironically, and trollishly pure quality, uh, poor quality, sorry, to an online forum or social media, in some cases intending to derail discussions or otherwise make the site unusable for its regular visitors. My trend of comedy went down the route of irony and post-irony. Now, in late 2016, early 2017, the usage of impact font memes and rage comics came back, mostly due to the mostly due to how naturally cringy and somewhat nostalgic it was to see them again. A few weeks ago, I was creating an impact font meme of my own using the meme generator on Angflip. I hadn't given it much thought and presumed that everyone was using it also in a sense of irony. When I actually took a look at the hot memes right now section. It was as if I'd been taken back in time to the glory days. 2012 impact font memes were everywhere. I was posting some in Discord for my friend to laugh at when the curve ball hit me. Uploaded four hours ago. My brain went into fucking hyperdrive trying to figure out what was happening. And then immediately, immediately crashed. Brain.exe has stopped responding. When I realized there had been a secret but massive online community of people that never grew out of the impact, impact font memes. There has been a hidden massive bubble of people that I didn't know existed that no one spoke about. This is how I imagined everyone felt in the MCU when Wakanda was discovered. A huge group of people that cut themselves away from normal social media to live secret double lives as weirdos who make impact font memes. Bad Luck Brian, True Story, Scumbag Steve, Rage Comments, or Comics, and Overly Attached Girlfriend memes. They were making them. 2018. From what digging I've done around the comment sections, all the posts, and the overall language they seem to be using, the community seems to be a mix of people. There doesn't seem to be any similarities between them. Some are quite obviously children discovering the internet for the first time, whereas other users seem to be they're at least in their 20s, which I can tell by, like, fancier words, uh, like, colloquialisms from earlier, from like earlier in the tw 2000s, references to shows in, like, the late 90s. Also, the website seems to have no political, uh, no particular political alignment, which a lot of memes nowadays are very, very political, and you can kind of see which way a meme page or a website is leaning. And uh, uh, examples like 4chan is primarily right wing, Tumblr is primarily left wing, but Imclip seems to be in that zone where. With Facebook and Twitter, where it's neither left nor right, but has it has a uh, people inside them that are like so the website itself is kind of blended, kind of centrist in a way. So that makes it that's quite an interesting experience to go along with the website being weird in itself. Uh, also within the website, there seems to be a really really wide range of comedy. So there's there's edgy shit. There's wholesome shit, and there's relatable shit. It's the three shits of memes that we always see. It's, it's very similar, but nothing about the group seems to keep them together. There's no reason for these people to stay together. The only thing they share in common is their love of 2010 and 2012 memes. For some reason, it keeps them together. But this really makes me think. These people have been at it for six to eight years and their memes are still living. Are they the real meme community? Are we a cheap knockoff? Today's photos are considered dead almost immediately. We live in a society, it must have lasted about a month became, before it became cringy and unfunny. 
do you know the way lasted about three days and I swear to God they did surgery on a grape was considered dead hours after its first creation it was dead on the same day or maybe this community just trapped in the past they missed the way memes used to be non-political worldwide inside jokes spread via social media could we learn from them no their memes are shit Thanks everybody uh, for getting through the entire video. Thanks for watching. It was just a little thing that I found the other day that I thought might be interesting to show around. Uh, well, the people I was with at the time were definitely interested in the fact that these people were still doing it. And I uh, thought it was just a funny thing to point out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to upload more. Because I don't really have a point to. But you're not going to get big on any kind of social media if you don't try. So I may as well, you know, try. Uh, effort put in this video was pretty low, to be honest, but it did take me a while. So, uh, hopefully, if anyone wants me to go over anything, like a particular meme or what I said before about explaining the different kind of memes, then I'm more than happy to. I'll put a lot more effort into it. Uh, I was originally thinking about naming the character Professor Peregrine instead of Dr. Peregrine, but uh, I realised that that would make the initials PP, and... Uh, I don't want you mature bastard, uh, bastards come at, uh, calling me pee-pee. Uh, yeah. Pee-pee.